Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Channel. Today we're we'll building the high grade Gundam Double O, the Gundam Nadale. And, you know, I always want to build this one because uh, it's actually one of the coolest designs that I've seen. And, you know, I've been waiting for a pretty long time. And I bought this on eBay with like, what, 30 bucks? It was very cheap. And <clears throat> it arrived a couple days ago, and I decided to build it first because, you know, I actually really like this. And so at the side, we got some actions, some stories, not really important to look at. Like, you can take some time to look at it, but I can't read Japanese. So when we open it, this, this box is a pretty small box. So free packages and an instruction book. So let's look at the instruction book first. So first, we got to introduce uh, the pilot and the mobile suit and then we got some actions in there some uh, weapon introduction some color guide and some ar iconic scene as well so the armor you know this armor separation and then let's take it let's take a look inside uh, just simply like this flip it to the back we got some actions and then some weapons instruction as well yeah all right, so it's not it's not taking me a long time to open up the runners. So now I open up the runners now. So first we got some potty caps. Then we got a <coughs> C runner. It's the shield, uh, the gun, hands, uh, joints, and some inner frame as well. D runner, uh, very soft. I believe this is for the uh, the the uh, electrical lines that exposed at the outside armor. B part. All white. Uh, we got some shoulder parts, some arms, some arms part, beam sabers, and a shield. We got a beam saber effect part, so for the gun and for the beam sabers. A part mainly on the outside armor. We got some uh, the antennas, the legs armor, the uh, torso, waist, uh, clear parts, head, uh, inner joint of the arms. We got some uh, feet. And yeah, that pretty that pretty much covers it. And we also have a pretty huge amount of stickers, so I'm not gonna expect anything good. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna see you at the review.
Hey, welcome back to the review of the Gundam Nadoli. So this is the finishing of the whole Gunpla. So I make some small mistake. So uh, when so the wire part here is rubber, and I accidentally well I was trying to snap it on the Gunpla and I accidentally cut one of them and uh, I broke it. <laughs> I broke one of them, and then you know it's fine. I just super glue it, and you know this is uh, the finishing of the whole Gunpla. Uh, so basically is. It wasn't really, you know, uh, it wasn't really, really take a long time to make because, you know, it's very simple to make. And plus, half of the parts here is white and a lot of them is by stickers. A lot of the color on it is by stickers. But, you know, as for a Gunpla that, you know, just came out at 2008, I am fine with it because, you know, after all, it's 2008, so I couldn't really complain about it. And um, you know, I'm gonna jump to the review right now. As usual, let's start with the head. So the head can move up, uh, up and down very slightly. And could move to the side very slightly as well. During this rubber, uh, a large rubber at the back. So the head couldn't really move on uh, anything. Uh, the side here is, uh, the red part here is not a part separation, it's a sticker. So uh, if you don't like it, you can just repaint it. Right, now let's talk about the torso. The torso here is a two individual piece here. Two individual uh, rubber. It's kind of like a rubbery feeling. It's, so I just call it rubber. Uh, two rubber that are leaning down, and uh, the color separation here is the yellow part, the gray part, and the no, no. There's no more color separation. So basically, it's uh, it's doing a quite good job for the color separation. And also the antenna, the antenna at the side here can actually uh, you know adjust the angle, but you know uh, it's pretty useless for that movement. But uh, yeah. And uh, you know the overall the, the torso not really much can you know introduce because this already is the outside armor, the outside armor already popped out from the Gundam Vulture, so now it's only left the center with uh, nothing really special. Now let's look at the arms first. So the arms can lift to the side about 90 degrees, and then it could bend up for slightly more than 90 degrees, and the the hand down here is, uh, you know, can adjust it whatever angle you want, and then the upper arm here can uh, rotate as well. The whole arm can go 360 uh, movement, and then also it got a uh, option on the left hand that you can choose to uh, plug in this uh, open hand. Now let's talk about the waist movement. So there isn't any joint in the waist, so you can't expect that it's going to be moving to the side or moving to to the up and down uh, option. No, it just can do some 360 rotation and that's it. And the legs joint here is a uh, ball joint, so at the side, or uh, not very, uh, at the side, not very good. Uh, back all the way 90, front 90, and uh, the legs can bend about uh, bend exactly 90 degrees. The feet down here uh, is an individual move that you can move front and back. And yeah, overall the low the lower body don't have really much any good kind of movement because you know it's a ball joint, so don't expect there's gonna be any good movement at all. Now let's talk about the accessories. So first we got a beam saber that you can just strictly put it on to the gunpla without question. And then we have a we have a beam rifle that you can put it on. There's a there's a little joint here that you can clip it on the hand and it will stabilize the beam rifle. And also you got a shield here that you can, you know, just just use the joint here to plug it in, and it will clip it on the hand as well. We got a shield and a B, and a B rifle, and also the rifle could plug in a special effect part that you can uh, it can make the mobiles look like it shoot out a uh, the beam to attack the enemies. As you can see, you can just simply snap it on like this, and. There's nothing really actually need to introduce though. It's just a simple, really simple mobile suit designed. Two beam sabers, a gun, and a shield. So uh, this is the end of the whole video. Uh, it's actually not much to introduce about the uh, Gunpla since it doesn't have too much accessory and is pretty much a basic uh, mobile suit designed. And I would like to say, I would just say, uh, it's not too bad for it's not too bad for 2008 kid. Except I just don't really like the stickers on the shield. Uh, is kind of ugly. So if you have the if you have the paint, I would recommend you don't use the stickers. Just you know, kind of paint it yourself. Because as you can see now, it's really crumbed up. And you know, this is the end of the review. Hope you guys like this video. Be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you next time in another gameplay review. Bye.